Hey guys, so I've got a new project to show you. This one's a Christmas related project, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh, it is a sort of flashing bauble using uh, an NE555. So that's just a 555 chip. Um, it's not a CMOS chip, which it should be if you're going to attempt this, because the CMOS chip is a bit more low powered. I'm powering this with a small 3.7 volt battery. Uh, it's a, a LiPo battery. Uh, they're not very easy to get hold of, so you can get a button cell 3.5. Now, it just flashes alternating between two LEDs. That's the, uh, the out pin triggering high and low. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make this. I've put it in a nice little sort of clear ball, so uh, it looks nice. And it's just a bit of a nerdy Christmas tree object you can, you can have. Right, so I'll show you how to make this. Well, I won't show you how to make this exactly. I'm going to show you the circuit that's involved and then you can expand it and do what you like afterwards. Okay, so we've got our 555 here. This one's the NE555. Usually triggers at around 4.2 to 4.5 volts, but uh, when you've got a fully charged LiPo, that kicks out about 4.2. So uh, it does work and it works for about five days, which is quite nice. Uh, these LEDs that are in in this thing here only pull out about uh, two milliamps, so it's not using a lot of power, so it lasts for a long time. So I'll just draw the circuit out for you. Now, your 555's here, here's that little indent to show you which way it is around. And we'll start getting some wires on that, shall we? Now, first of all, let's say we've got, uh, we've got power down here. We've got our plus and we've got our minus, so that's positive and negative. Uh, first off, we want to put some, some wires for power going places, so our first power wire is going to go here and then we need our negative wire, which up here, so to pin one. Now we need two resistors, one resistor here. And that's going to go to that pin there. This is a one mega ohm resistor. And then we need another one from here. Going to here. And that's the same. So that's another mega ohm. Now we need to connect pin 5 to pin 4. Sorry about the squeakiness. And we need to connect pin 2 to pin 7. This is getting a bit complicated. <laughs> now, both of our LEDs are going to come off of pin 3. That's the out pin, I believe. Um, and we need some resistors in there too. So, uh, my LEDs require about a 100 ohm resistor. So we're going to need two of those. But really, you could just use one if you wanted, I guess. But I, I put two in mine, so... And then you want to connect the LEDs so that uh, one LED is reversed, so that it is the other way around to the other. So, so that's the positive end, and that's the negative. So this one here will come down to the negative line, and this one will come over to the positive line. Now the very last bit we need to do to get this whole circuit to work is we need to put a capacitor between pin 1 and pin 2. Now I'm using a, uh, a 0.2 microfarad capacitor along here, uh, so if I just draw that in. So that's 0 0.2 and the weird U and an F. And that's it, that's all you need to do. I've got it uh, on a breadboard. I've got it on the breadboard just here, so I can just plug this battery in and show you. 
So I'm just using this little LiPo battery here. And so that's using, that's actually a, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor there. If I just grab another one and I'll plug it in and show you. So this is using a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And then if I, oops, if I put another one in between the pins, just straighten the leg out. You'll see it slows down quite a lot. I've just sort of moved that LED there. Oops. There we go. And again, if I take it out, you'll see that it speeds up. So it's important to choose the right capacitor. Now I've added a switch to mine, um, just so that I can turn the power on and off. Uh, but this is the main circuit for the, uh, the LED flasher. And what you can do with these LEDs is you can branch them off and have more than one on there, which is why I use these little low-powered LEDs, so that I can have several of them. Anyway, so thank you very much, and I hope you have a good Christmas. And uh, if you make anything, let me know. I'd love to see what you come up with. It doesn't have to be a flasher circuit or, well, it doesn't even have to be LEDs. It could be anything you like, I guess. It could, uh, it could trigger a transistor to power something a bit more well, a bit brighter maybe, a bit more noticeable, but this is nice for, for just a small ball. So anyway, thanks. Merry Christmas.